welcome to the Reclaiming channel and today the topic is what you get with entropy analysis in Reclaiming Pro. Entropy analysis is applied to the parity-based arrays such as RAID 5 and RAID 6. Once you have done the content analysis, which we have already discussed in one of our previous videos, and concluded that the array you deal with may be parity-based one, you can get more information about your rate with the entropy analysis. Now let's look closer at what is entropy in general. Entropy is a measure of data randomness. The more random the data, that is unordered and unpredictable, the higher entropy you get. For example, in English text, Q letter is most frequently followed by U letter. This means that any meaningful text, English text in our case, uh, is pretty predictable in terms of what letter follows what letter and therefore entropy of text is low. Videos and image files on the contrary have higher entropy. As for arrays, since parity block is calculated by mixing several data blocks, generally entropy of parity is higher than entropy of data. Now let's consider RAID 5 consisting of, say, three disks. Disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3. Where the parity blocks are located like this. Each parity block is calculated based on several data blocks. For example, P12, P34, and P, 5, 6. If we calculate uh, entropy, say, over the third disk, we get the picture where the high entropy values correspond to the parity blocks. Low entropy, high entropy. Now let's see what you get with the entropy analysis in Reclaimer Pro. Block size The number of disks in the original array Disk order Spot the disks which do not belong to the array in question and hot spare disks. And see that the disks do not form a parity based array. Also, with the entropy analysis, you can notice certain RAID 5 and RAID 6 configurations and know that the start of set does not equal zero. Now, let's discuss how to do the entropy analysis and get all these characteristics. Actually, Reclaiming Pro does not give you some particular values. Instead of this, you need uh, to vary different settings, namely block size and the number of disks. Until you get one of the typical pictures. The settings which give you the typical picture are the correct parameters for your rate. 
you can recognize the typical picture if you observe the following. There is only one peak on each disk being analyzed. One peak per disk. And peaks from the different disks do not overlap. Now let's consider the typical pictures. On the first picture we see a RAID 5 consisting of four disks with incorrect block size. Notice that there are more than one peak, namely eight peaks on each disk. Therefore the specified block size is larger than the correct block size for our RAID. You need to decrease the block size until you get only one peak. To choose the correct block size, you need to divide the current block size by the number of peaks you see on the picture. In our example, it is needed to divide 1024 kilobytes by 8 peaks, which gives you 128 kilobytes. Set a new block size and see a beautiful picture, one peak per disk and no overlaps. Note that if you continue decreasing block size, the picture is spoiled. See peaks overlap. Further reduction in block size results in a completely wrong picture. There are no peaks at all. Return to the correct block size. Disk order can be determined based on how peaks are located on each disk. We need to align the disks so that the peaks follow each other. In our example we see the disk order is image 0, image 1, 2 and image 3. Note that the entropy analysis does not allow to determine which one is the first. Now let's see how the picture changes if you specify a correct number of disks for a RAID 5. This time load only 3 disks. We see that block size is not divisible by the number of peaks, namely 1024 kilobytes is not divisible by 6. Sometimes you may also notice that two peaks on the different disks overlap. All this points to the fact that you specified the incorrect disk number. Try to change it and see that we solve the problem with number of disks and now need to adjust block size. Decrease the block size to 128 kilobytes and see a beautiful picture. Therefore, we deal with a 4 disk RAID 5 where one disk is missing and the block size is 128 kilobytes. Now let's look at the RAID 6. First impression is that the specified block size is a way too large. For a RAID 6, considerations about the number of peaks and block size are the same as for a RAID 5. So decrease the block size, for example, to 64 kilobytes. See that we need to decrease it once again to 32 kilobytes. Looks better. Let's wait for a while until Reclaimy Pro collects enough data. Since in the RAID 6 two parities are calculated and they usually occupy adjacent blocks on the physical disk, you get peaks like these ones. Note that peaks overlap by the half of the peak width. Thus, content analysis and entropy analysis allow you to identify RAID configuration parameters pretty quickly. Then you can use these parameters in manual RAID recovery or specify them in automatic recovery for faster analysis. In this video I discussed most typical arrays. 
uh, more complex cases, for example, grade 5 with delayed parity and grade 6 with white pace, you can find in our book Logical Data Recovery. If you like our data recovery videos, subscribe to the Reclaimy channel. Reclaimy team was with you. See you soon!